Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Learning to Live Life on a Budget. My name is Millie, how are you all doing today? Wow, <laughs> today is the 11th of December, I'm hoping to film this and upload it the same day. If you're all a little bit sick of seeing my name pop up, I'm sorry. Um, that didn't sound very apologetic, did it? <clears throat> um, I suddenly realised that I had loads of videos on my phone that needed to be uploaded and I just was like, uh, I didn't want to be uploading over Christmas and that because, see, we all want to have a little bit of time with our families. So I'm just doing mass upload. You're going to see me pretty much every day. You poor, poor sods. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if today I sound a little bit um, nasally in that. Um, there's a nasty virus going around in the area I live in. And I know three different families that have gone down with it. One I've had no actual physical contact with. One I've had to like move their car because it was parked somewhere it shouldn't be. <laughs> they got ill. Um, I've done shopping for them. All of that. Um... So I've seen them and then another one like I've seen twice in passing and I was just like, oh. I get ill really easily. Um, and I've had my flu jab, so if it's flu, then I shouldn't get it theoretically. Um, but yeah, so I'm really sorry if I sound a bit, I've woken up a bit. Ugh. And it's only nine o'clock on a Sunday morning. So when I'm filming this, so I'm hoping that it will pass. <laughs> it's just, it's cold and I had a... You know, not much sleep last night, so I'm just a little bit bleary-eyed and just need things to clear. So, should we just crack on with it? Um, I've got a few different things. I've got my Merry Christmas sign with us today um, because it doesn't want to hang where I'm hanging it in my home. I have a Father Christmas. This is really special to me. They were, I had three that were hangers and um, they were, they passed down the family, so... Um, yeah, uh, the hanger broke on this one. The other two on the tree, but this one sits on top of my fireplace. So I just brought it over for filming. Hopefully I'm putting these back in shot. Um, yeah, it's uh, because my uh, phone holder thing, I'm looking through the camera, but it blocks like a portion of the screen. And this is just some really cute, um, I got them at a Christmas market. Sorry for the squeaking. They're Russian dolls, but Christmas style. So, and there's a snowman inside. Shall we show you the snowman? So cute. I love him. The teeny tiny snowman. He's so happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just, a few bits to bring it Christmassy. We have some Christmas music in the background, which is lovely. Um, I'm really sorry if you don't like or don't celebrate Christmas. Um my sincerest apologies and respect goes to you um but yeah just we're festiving it up here so this video is my um week three check in let me go santa um this week has been a bit of a messy week and we're just gonna crack on in i think <clears throat> oh no you guys are gonna have to move <laughs> Get out of the camera shot. Um, oh, we've got Moo coming to join us on the table. She, oh, she's going to come for the paper, aren't you? I think she associates filming with food. <laughs> Thanks, Moo. Sorry about that, guys. I've given Moo her own paper to sit on. <laughs> she doesn't look impressed. So we last checked in on, I think it was like Saturday, Sunday, but I said that I was having a no-spend weekend, and I did really pleased the no spends this month are looking fantastic and this is partly because i haven't tracked my bills on here my fixed expenses i always used to and i've seen some budgeters they don't do it so like simple budgets she doesn't track her fi fixed expenses and i would have direct debit go out my bank account i'd be like oh it's i've lost my no spend day i'll go and spend money today so not tracking them has meant that i've had more no spend days which is fantastic so i'm just gonna Sorry, Mo. Um, Monday the 5th, uh, I spent £34.5p and in Tesco for food. Uh, that was a weekly food shop. £22.5p uh, from Cats. I got Moo and Fraser some different um, 
food because they weren't that keen on the tins from Pets at Home. Um, I spent £5.54 from the household and I spent £5 on Christmas. I mentioned if you've seen all the uploads I've put up this week, my Christmas lights blew on my tree. So um, that was on Christmas lights. Uh, on the Tuesday I spent £2 and 3p Morrisons and I had an income of £5. Five pound. Oh, that was the day I did my big... Ah! Cashed in my 20p's on my savings challenge. <clears throat> and then Wednesday, uh, I spent £42 and 5p on different Christmas items. I just bulked up. Uh, 38 99 on um, Bobby's food. This one's written small, so you won't see it. £8.78 on cat Christmas, because I did them in one transaction so I split it and then that's what I did in cash spending £1.25 uh, household spend £1.20 at the bakery I went out and had a Christmas shopping day and I got myself a um, chocolate reindeer cookie then I spent £10 at the butchers um, getting meat like, and I put that as food shop I went to get Christmas meat so that came out of the Christmas spending um, I got like parcels like chicken parcels like wrapped in bacon and all that um and yeah i got uh, a really good deal on pork loins i spent five pound in mcdonald's um for my dinner uh four pound 18 in aldi and then i did another little christmas spend because when i come home after i've been out i try and write down all my spending and i did 61p on christmas in aldi as well um so then Thursday, no spend. Friday, no spend. Fantastic. Saturday. So, Saturday, I, um, I don't know how well you can see this. Should we try? Oh, zooming you in a bit. So, Saturday, I put plus £5. I'm not sure how much I had come in or out. It all went a bit crazy. I spent £2.63 on food in Aldi, £29.57 on diesel, £1 on food in Poundland, £11.50 on lunch for me and my daughter, £3 in Poundland on self-care, which I'll show you in a minute, um, £47.81 on Christmas, £5.50, no, £3.50 on car from the car sinking fund, £35.97 from the medical sinking fund, and I didn't spend this, but I just tracked that I got my £67 electric voucher to put on my key meter, and I put it on on this day, and then I'm saying, although it's 9 o'clock today, today is a no spend, any exceptions come up, like, massive exceptions, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not spending any money, <laughs> but if something, like, emergency, then I would just track it on the Monday. So... Shall I show you the three pound self care from Pamland? So I got myself a diary. Now you may be thinking that's not self care, but for me, I use a diary to block out my day. Um, Yasmin Camilla does shows great blocking out, and I also put to do lists in it. Um, I did see one in Tiger that had it out, mapped out already, but. They didn't do it. So they have like these diaries in Poundland. But what I wanted to show you guys was they have calendars. Um, I need to pull you out again now. I've pulled you in and... Um, yeah, they have calendars like this. So if you're new to budgeting or you want to find a, a way to budget but use the calendars like I use. Like this costs £3, this diary. So cute. Lilac, love... Um, yeah, they'll probably have different ones. They had, they did have smaller ones that weren't a page a day. They were two pages over a week. So if you didn't want a whole day's writing, I like to have a whole day, page a day. But I just thought having this calendar as well, if you're new to budgeting and you want a low cost budget book, or even if you just prefer this, you know, just because you've been budgeting for a while doesn't mean you're going to go out and buy the books. This is really cheap, really affordable. I'm not using it for budgeting. I'm using other stuff, but I just wanted to share it because I was like, oh, I love the calendar. Um, yeah. So, busy week. My numbers won't and don't add up. So, should we just go to the weekly check-in? So, food, I opened the week with £100. I spent £71.59. 
that didn't all come out of the food envelope it came from other places but i have a rollover of 40 pound left in the monthly binder so and so far this month i spent 262 pound and 91 on food um i had open the week with household 15 pound i spent six pound 79 but i had 10 pound left can you see spending is coming from different areas i had 10 pound left but i only spent 29.76 and the budget is 50 so we're well under one week to go really happy cats i had 73 to spend i spent 61 pound and 4p there is one pound left in cats to roll over to next week i didn't include bobby's money in here um bob has six um because that's bobby's spending as well and i realized i included bobby's uh, on week one on the opening um so yeah that's because i took some money out of cats to roll towards um bobby's having um snip next week so i took some money out to help fund that but so far 205 pound 13 we haven't gone over what we put in um diesel i opened with 30 pound uh this week i spent 29.57 so there is nothing being rolled over and for this month as long as i don't put in more next week i've only spent 76 pound 03 so we are under budget um treats i opened with five pound i spent nothing but i am rolling over nothing i've moved that five pound elsewhere food by the looks of it um <laughs> It's fine because it's all there to be spent as long as I don't need it or want it in the next week. Um, and yeah, uh, treats if we don't spend anything next week. 17.38 is the monthly total so far. Self-care, I had 15 in the envelope this week when I cash stuffed. Um, like that's in my monthly envelope, not just what I take out each week. Um, I spent three in self-care. I'm rolling over one, um, one pound. Um, that's the difference in that is some money's gone somewhere else and some money has you know gone to challenges so so far this month in self-care I spent six pound um, so this is like really handy to see do I need to adjust some of my figures next month um, am I over budgeting categories under budgeting categories miscellaneous I started the um, week with £10, I spent nothing, I'm going to be rolling over £5, so that's £7.70 I've spent out of miscellaneous this month so far, to be honest, it's just gone on parking. Um, <laughs> electric, I opened with 40 I spent nothing because I had the voucher come in from the government, um, so I'm rolling over 40 that hasn't been touched, and there's 40 left, uh, 40 is what I've spent out of my own money on my electric meter so far this month so i opened with a total of 288 pound in cash this week i spent 171.99 i'm rolling over 97 so this is what i physically spent out if i spent any in shop uh, on savings challenges i haven't included it here so like i put 10 pound from cats into vets but i didn't track it here because this is literally just my spending this is what I've got left over. So I've got £97 for the last week of the month, which I'm really pleased with. Um, and so far this month, I've spent £644.91. And I would have had £835 to spend this month um, when I opened. So really looking good so far. This is where it's going to go all a bit haywire because things just don't make sense. So I did shopping my, for my friend. It came so much. She gave me a note. I was like, I'll give you change. No, 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 I don't want it. Um, and just things like that coming and going. So I've tried to, I didn't track how much I was bringing in from my sinking funds either. Now I know that Christmas is, I mean, the Christmas folder has exploded because it's just sort of like <laughs> this. But um I've spent it all minus food shopping money, which is in here. Um, and I've got my breakdown and I actually have another £20 uh, school food voucher going in there. I'll talk more about that in my cash stuffing video and budget video for week four. Because it's really weird time. I get paid on the 19th. It is six days before Christmas Day, or, you know, five days before Christmas, should we say. We'll go up to Christmas Eve. Um, so I'm actually, like, this week, 
coming going to be thinking more about the next couple of weeks because I will not want to go into a shop uh, so close to Christmas because it's so crazy busy. I won't want to go and do a normal week's food shop. I want to run in, grab exactly what I need, make sure that I don't even need a basket or something. Actually, I might get a basket, but wait, run in, grab and run out. Um, yeah, because it's going to be crazy, isn't it? It always is. Um, so, yeah, and Bobby's having a snip at the end of this budget week, the next budget week. So I am closing out this week and preparing for next week, week four of this month and then week one and two. Well, definitely week one of next month. So we'll discuss that more in another video. But so we're not fussed about the numbers adding up here or making sense. Um, I'm about £5.90 out. So <clears throat> I rolled over £301.22. I had £505.40 from my PIP, £21.80 from child benefit, £11.40 in other income, £5 savings challenge. And then I've put like about a five out from my friend because of the note and the shopping, because um, I didn't track what I spent on the shopping. I couldn't even tell you. I just paid in cash, grabbed the receipt, gave, you know, put the receipt in her bag. She took it, looked at it, gave me a note. And I was like, hang on, I must, I owe you change. Um, and then I spent, I found £1.40 down the side of my sofa. And I put sinking fund news 145 but I think actually it's possibly 140 I did it based on my tracked spending that I did, um, my calendar that you saw at the beginning. <coughs> really sorry about that um so and i actually spent out of my own income towards sinking funds so i should have made a note what i took out with me before i went out but it's fine because it's christmas it's there to be spent so you know now is the time to empty it so i actually had a total income roughly of 984 pound 82 um in bills and fixed expenses i tracked pets at home to come out this week i don't know why because it doesn't come out for like nearly a whole other week it doesn't come out to the 16th <laughs> it's the 11th today five days <laughs> don't know why um i put the electric voucher on here but it's not in my totals because it wasn't money for me to spend it's literally just a voucher that came in and went out um only for the electric with the government but i've kept track on it because i'm trying to keep a track of how much I'm putting onto the meter so I've tracked it in here but I didn't actually put anything on electric um I wrote in my budget with me video treats 30 pound it should have been pocket money 30 pound um that was to my daughter I put 18 to the gas sinking fund uh 50 pound into the car sink insurance sinking fund they should be in the sinking funds I've decided sinking fund spend I've spent 104 pound 25 from Christmas, £3.50 from car. So that was literally just because it's got so cold. I used my deicer in like one day. Um, and um, I don't have a scrape or anything. I was scraping with my club card because that was all I had on me. I didn't have a bank card or anything on me. It was all I had. I was scraping my windscreen. So I got a scraper and deicer. Um, yeah. Um, uh, and I, I took it out of the car sinking fund so it's my budget with IRA saving envelope rather than my MOT fund for now because it is a car expense and I don't take it from my travel ex my ca travel cash envelope because to me that's for diesel or if I couldn't get you, uh, if my car broke down I had to get buses or taxis that's what it's for it's not for that's a maintenance -y aspect and the medical 3597, that was for my daughter's contact lenses. She loves them. She's so happy. That's all set up and ready to go. Um, she's got um, some for this week. And then I've got to go and pick up her um, the rest of them uh, for the next few months. And she's on a monthly subscription plan now. Um, so, so, so happy and so, so worth it. Um, yeah, so I spent a total of £303.72 um, from bills and fixed expenses. To be honest, that's basically Christmas, isn't it? Why is that so high, actually? I think I've added in the 67 Two. Ah, oh, I've got 80 here, actually. Okay, maybe not. I was about to be like, two seconds, I'll be back in a minute. Um... Let's say it's 105, 110, 140, 190, 280. Okay, yeah, it must be. 
yeah it is 300 okay i was like worried i'd included that in the figure then because i didn't include it in the income but then i suppose i would have been massively out wouldn't i <laughs> then i'd be panicking what the hell have i done to be so massively out uh, to still look very uh, fairly close um yeah so then food for the week i've just gone through these expensive food 71 59 household 679 so i went over my budgeted amounts here cats i budgeted 20 pound for um Mill and Fraser's food, 45 for Bobby. I managed to get Bobby's really cheap um, from a site. They said they'd send it raw mail, 48 hour tracked. It's been however many days. I actually ordered it earlier and the payment came out later because of PayPal. So it's kind of just sat stuck because of the strikes. Um, luckily, Bobby does have food, but he's about to open his last box, which will last him six days. It is in my county now um, from last night. So just depends when raw mail striking this week. But, you know, 48 hour tracked and signed. Um, a little bit like, <gasps> it's taken so long. Um, yeah, I hope they get what they want from the strikes. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Bobby's under budget. Fraser and over budget, that's fine. Travel, under budget, £29.57. Uh, treats, I didn't spend anything in treats. Self-care, under budget, £3. Didn't spend any miscellaneous. So spent £171.99 this week. And considering some of my spending, like, food, was, like, £21.59 over budget, I actually budgeted to spend £170 throughout all my categories. And I spent £171.99. So I brought it back in, which is good. Then for savings and sinking funds, I did £4 on roll the dice. I'm going to do £15.21 on challenges. I've done £1.6 so far. And I've got £14.50 to put in in a minute, which is really fantastic. Um, medical, £5. Um, I stuffed £45 pound into my cat sinking fund, £5 pound into car, £5 pound into emergency, and £115 pound into Christmas. Give me £191.21 into savings. Leaving me with £314.90 to roll over, so it's less than what I have. But what I actually have is 309 so I'm about £5.90 out. But that's fine. That's all good. We can live with that because it's Christmas, and that is probably my most spendy time of year. Um, I'm just going to turn the Christmas music down a tad. It's just getting a bit loud. So, shall we empty out... Oh uh wallets so i have my final fact Sapiano, which is my weekly one and then i try to take out a mixture of small ones only with what they need so these two are now empty especially with all this christmas shopping i've tried to keep it broken up into categories and then in the Safiano, food is the only one with money in i believe household no cats no Travel, no. Treats, no. Self-care, no. And um, miscellaneous, no. So let's just take out... Ah! Taking the paper with me. Right, so that's the Safiano empty. And then this lovely purse from my mother. Um, it's an early Christmas gift. It's so handy because it's so dinky just to take like to Tesco's with me. I literally have, you know, an area for food, cats, household. That's what I did the other day and it was perfect. Um, and then if I want to do everything in one transaction, take my cup card out, um, I can. So I'm really sorry this is going to be noisy. Not too bad. Oh, there's still money in there. The good thing is, this purse seems to hide coins. <laughs> so then it's like, ah, oh, doesn't matter. So, I'm going to have a quick sip of coffee. Take a gander. How much do we think is there? Or if you were paying close attention, I just told you actually, didn't I? <laughs> a few minutes ago, but I really needed a sip of my drink. So we have one, two, three, four five six seven eight oh sorry about that eight nine in one pound coins fifty one fifty two fifty so it was 
nine, isn't it? Five, one, two, three, four, five, so that's ten, eleven, eleven fifty. Oh, let's just call it eleven. Um, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twelve. 20, 40, 50, and another 50p is 13, just hopefully I'll remember 13, 13, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, Oh dear. So we've got 13, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, <laughs> 13, 95, 14 pound and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14 pound 10. Um, £14.15 yep that's exactly what I counted up so let's get the savings challenge book out and get these out righty ho um, I don't know where to start actually should we start with the pounds we had £9 in pounds Oh, nine pound. I want ten pound for a now. That's a shame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Right, we're going to do in here one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do the two pounds. And then I'm hoping, planning to get the ten crossed off. So I said six, didn't I? Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we'll finish the trees. Two, four, six. So close. I thought I was going to be able to do the moon today. That's a little bit. Oh. Next week. Hopefully over Christmas because I plan to like have like maybe be nice to have a whole seven days of no spending. Um, I mean, I will probably have one, two, three, four, five, five days no spending straight. That's the plan. <laughs> Maybe six. Um, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, just another tool. And then the other three pound I'm going to put into here. Uh, my winter seasonal challenge. So this one is from, what if I fly 17? This one is from Simple Budgets. Um, and we need to colour in three hot chocolates. So I'm going to do them in a different colour today. One, but they're all going to be the same because I'm not in a patient mood. <laughs> it's just because that one looks awful. We'll have purple marshmallows and then um, we'll just have a blue drink. Um, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, and I'm thinking, oh, I've got more videos i'm gonna film three more while i'm here so i might have to stop for a coffee break blah that one looks rubbish i'm sorry that was impatient millie taking over just wafting it away i'm just gonna keep it out because i don't want to make i've already got red ink all over this one and that one right this is what i'm excited for excited for excited 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 um mo budgets 50p challenge we have 50p's galore 
Are you ready? One. Two. Can you see that? Please be able to see that. Three. Four. I literally have four 50 p to go. I think I might try and swap some. I did ask my daughter last night, but she had no 50 p She had 20 p's and 10 p's. She's like, I can make up 50 p um, But I might, uh, when I'm out and about, in my change from shopping and stuff, if I don't get a 50 I I might have to go and ask the cashier if they can swap me up because that would be so nice to complete and get £25 just before Christmas. I mean, we're not going to spend it on Christmas, but it would be so nice to have and do. Um, so next, should we do 20 peas? So this is my silvers jar. Um, all the 10 peas and 5 peas are mixed in. So I have 20. I have, uh, this budget's for, this is from Simple Budgets. Um, this challenge. And so is my 10 pea challenge. They equal different amounts, but I've crossed it out because I'm literally just going to a fiver and then cashing it in and putting it in my sinking funds to bulk them out. Um, I've said in previous videos, like, I had a £10 in 20p's, more than that, in 20p's, or when Bob got really ill when I wasn't filming in October, and I couldn't use them because they were in 20p form, which was so annoying. Um, so for now, until my sinking funds are a bit more healthy and bulked up, we're just cashing in at a fiver. So um, I've already got two 20p's, and then I've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20p's this week. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we start on 40p, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. Yeah, and we have £1.80 in total in 20p's, which is fabulous. I tend to get more 20p's than anything else, although this week I've got loads of 2p's and 5p's, but this is change from Christmas shopping as well. So, yeah, we're, you know, £3 a go, basically. Um, but the 10p challenge, I hardly get 10p's, so it's nice this week to have a few. I have... 50p so we're doing the same thing a simple budget challenge i'm doing the same thing it comes to 46 pound 50 um just until um you know because nowhere's going to accept a load of peas from me i could try but um so i got one two three four five fifty p so 80 we're just crossing them off i go over it twice because it goes up to three pound one two three four five so we're on the one pound twenty we were three pounds so we must be four four pound twenty oh so not far to go to get to two pounds 70p to go anyone got any seven ten p's for me and um, that would be really cool so i'm just going to cash that in a fiver that's that jar done it's from poundland earlier this year put them over there to dry a minute and then this is my change jar we're really close with this we're really close with this five pound one aren't we oh my i didn't realize okay let's see do we complete this or not so i just this is all i normally save my two piece for the arcade but because of the weather and that we live not in a beach town but it's like half hour drive to the arcade um and um so i've just been saving it towards this to stuff the challenge because the likelihood of us going to the arcade at the moment i mean it'd be nice and quiet but yeah <laughs> so we want 25p first so 5 10 15 20 25p put it in the jar now we want 24p so 5 10 15 20 to 4 Oh, I don't think we'll get to 5, 10, 2, 4, uh, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. So close. Uh, 2, 3, 
four, five. Oh, so close, so close. So I'm going to keep that one P out and I'm going to put four P aside. Um, we just need 10 P to go. It's so close. <laughs> so close. And so I think I might give this, I might see if my daughter wants it. She's doing the penny challenge. She's a glutton for punishment. She's persevering. She does most of her stuff on cards. So real glutton for punishment. That, oh, we're going to have some coin challenges, hopefully finishing up just before Christmas or before the new year. Uh, so that is everything for today. I've just seen that my camera is moving as I move. So I'm really sorry if it's been tracking me. <laughs> And you've got a bit of motion sickness. Hopefully you haven't. But yeah. So um, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support as always. It helps keep me on track. It helps keep me motivated. You're all so lovely. And I just really enjoy filming this for you guys and for myself. And I just can't believe you're all here watching me. So thank you so, so much. And if I don't see you before, have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, I will be uploading videos, but in case you don't see my videos before, um, I'm just going to start saying it now because two weeks today. Oh my God, scary. Anyway, ciao for now. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye.